Hello everyone, this is Juan Valentin Keys and today I'm going to be showing you two replays, one of which is by Ale HD, with who just wrote Loser Win. Well, I mean, if you are featured in one of my replays, and if you're not me, then, well, I don't know. It'll be a good game, that's for sure, guys. Here, here's your answer. Lost. Well, mm, I don't know. Let's hope for the best for for our hero, Pale HD. Let me just like always. So what is Pale HD doing right now? Uh, he or she is going to the standard heavy location, I think. And uh, the team is kind of not in the right spot, in my opinion. But, I mean, it could, it could be better, it could be worse. And LHG has um, a few APCR shells, which, I mean, comparably, they are a bit better. So they are way better against... 7th tier heavy tanks. And right now, Pally, she's not being very nice, but... Okay. And... Oh, 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 oh. That is a quite scary tank, in my opinion. Personally, the first time that I actually saw the Swedish tanks, it was the Swedish Sov. 28? No, South M43, which scared the crap out of me because I got shot by tier 4 tank destroyer that wiped off, wiped out like 50% of my hit points, so I was really scared of the South. And already, just a couple minutes into the game, and uh, got Fire for Effect, which is I mean, not the best thing you can get, but it's pretty good. Oh, and the score is not that good. Zero to four. That is not in LHD's favor. But PalHD does what he can. I'll just call you he. Hopefully you're he. Or not hopefully, but like, yeah, you get me. Okay, so. Oh, exactly one, exactly high caliber, no more, no less. <laughs> that was pretty funny, in my opinion. I don't know how about you, but I find that pretty amusing. And Pally HD's team is not doing so well right now. And no, not quite killing the Churchill. But I mean, how are you good? It's already pretty good. Okay, shuts down the M3 Lee. And already the high caliber and kind of making the game more even. Because, well. The score's not even, and it's even once again. But sadly enough. No, actually, not that many tanks have not been spotted on this team, so. And his team is doing quite well, actually, right now. Because it's only a, a Hetzer and OI experimental around there. Which is not that scary of a target. Of oh, not penetrating the OI experimental from the back. Guys, um, have the luckiest KV-1 on the planet. But, um, gets a warrior medal, so that's nice. And what is LHD's team gonna do right now? Well, they all are going... No. All of them except for the Savam 43 and the 14TP are going... 
closer to here, it looks like. Although not quite as the team is actually going the way of, uh, well, LHD is going. LHD has gotten 6 out of 9 kills as the team has gotten. And the score is actually pretty good right now for LHD's team. Although, it could be better. That is for sure. Hey, can he shut down the looks? No, not quite. Even, especially if you shoot like that. Uh, not quite. Oh, no. The artillery. Although, since I do like artillery, I will say that, well, I mean... If the OI shot him, he would have been in more trouble, I think. Mean. Oh, no, 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 no. That is definitely not... Oh, pushing his teammate out of the way, not the best idea in my opinion. No, not quite killing the looks. And the score is not all that even right now. Probably hit the looks in my opinion and got a steel wall and Is now taking Loading and oh, yes, he hit the looks but with an HE shell An unusual choice in my opinion, but I Mean whatever Whatever your fancy is I think that's it A ricochet from a looks, guys. We truly do have the world's unluckiest. And his team, his teammate in the form of the Celsior gets shut down yet. And for a second there, he was left one against five tanks. But after killing the looks, it's one against four tanks. And a 14 TP cannot penetrate him. Also taking the Radley Walters for the 8 kills. And there's the artillery. Can you shut it? You can't shut it down with just one shot. Oh, you gotta be careful with your hit points. The Bishop is a very dangerous artillery. There. What, what did I just say? Better get behind the wall, or not a wall, not Trump, but, uh, well. So, capturing the base, which is good right now, because he's gonna make the enemy team come out at him, and not the other way around, which is highly important. Possibly get using the bushes well props to you for that okay he will get he does get spotted i think unless the 14 tp is a blind tank oh and there's the bishop hello oh one hit point guys one hit point can he do this can pal hd do this one hit point and already up to 10 kills. Guys, this is amazing. One hit point and two enemy vehicles to be destroyed. Okay. That is good that he didn't quite penetrate. That the enemy didn't quite penetrate him. And lag. Okay. Whew. Okay. Give me a break here. Destroy all enemy light tanks in the battle. Okay. Got in Naden's medal. Hell HG, you're... Yes, you're truly the luckiest one. Ignore what I, just, what I said about... All the stuff about, like, the... What do you call it? Not entering a Y from the back or... Ricocheting of a looks? My friend, you were extremely lucky to survive that shell from the Bishop. RNG was definitely on your side. Serb helped you. He protected you. He knew that you're 
the hero of this battle. And well, the victor, the prepared one always wins or something. Not quite sure. But less. 0% zero, zero of his hit points remaining. So, um, yeah. There you go. Pal HD is a destroyed tank by this point. All that the Burge Gun needs to do. Um, why is the looks. Except trying. Oh, the cheeky looks. The cheeky looks is trying to get a cheeky. Crucial contribution medal for not doing all that much. I don't think so. And yeah, the KV1 is not the best tank for such climbs. But can LHD do this? LHD, you're extremely lucky. And and not just that, but you are also extremely skillful, at least in this battle. You've carried this battle from pretty much a really bad situation to a, a favorable situation. One that, although it's not completely over yet. I mean, consider this. One hit point versus an AG firing uh, artillery. Mm, that'll be interesting. Hey, where is the Burge Gun? That is the question right now. And I don't think Pal HD is going to be able to cap out, so by this point he only has one choice, and that is to find the Burge Gun in order to carry this battle home. I think. I think that's the expression. Carry the battle home. Or just, just get the victory. Just carry his team to victory. Slowly but surely. Oh yes! Guys! This is really good right now. Because Palagy now knows where the Birch Gun is. And while it's still kind of I'm still I'm pretty sure that he's gonna be able to get back there in time. The only question is... How is Palishy going to do this? Because he does not have a chance for a miss. Unless the Burj Gun also misses. It does not him hit anywhere close to his vehicle. Because Palishy gets a shell anywhere sorry anywhere near his tank so like right here will still be destroyed so this is a really tense situation and I don't quite know where the Burj Gun is or can be so it's not in on this side she only has less than two minutes there's the Burj Gun Okay, looking in the opposite direction, he fires and he shuts down the Burj Gun. The Burj Gun was looking in the opposite direction. In pretty much the opposite of where the Burj Gun should have looked. And this, and this is the most unusual score. One more than zero. Guys, we're doing math here. Uh, map with one Van Tankist. Yes. Uh, you can tell tell your friends that you did math. Yeah. Guys, this was an amazing battle. I have no idea how to describe this. It, if not... I mean, I'll say that include luck, skill, intuition... What else? I don't know. Extreme luck. More luck, more skill. But guys, this was an insane carry. Now let's go on to the results. And well guys, this was this was a hard-earned ace tanker. 
At least the you deserved the say, Stanker. A far for effect, impenetrable, duelist, bruiser, then the hard earned pools medal, Colban Colbans medal, the Dimitri's medal for destroying all three artillery, and well, Colbans medal, if you don't know what that is, I mean I mean if you're watching a YouTube video that includes a Colbans, you probably know what it is. It's standing against five of the enemy team. One against five. Then Warrior for well killing twelve of the enemy team. That's twice the requirement. Uh what else? That is Steel Wall. Spartan for well getting real lucky. Nadine's medal that is for destroying all enemy light tanks in the battle, which is quite an achievement at the lower tiers because there are just so many light tanks. So one, uh, two, I think that's the light tank. One, two, three, four, five. Um, five of the enemy light tanks. That's at least three. And well, a high caliber for... Eh, just, I mean, compared to his team, I'm pretty sure that is more than his team combined. So over 3,000 damage guys this was an amazing battle what did the leopard do oh yeah good job leopard but lhg that was the most insane battle i've seen yet surviving on one hit point and well carrying your team with just one hit point insane guys i i don't even know how to describe this Best way, I guess, is to say good job, LHC, and go on to the next battle. And so now let's look at at Hardcase Marksman on his Conqueror in the top. Yet it's a stock Conqueror. At least the gun is definitely not the top gun, and well, the turret is also. The stock version. Oh, guys, guys, um, quick animation. We have a really cool looking. Oh. Oh. Well. This is a beautiful color for E54 E1. Just look a little bit at it. Well, okay, let's get back to it. And... Oh! I didn't even see where our case marksman w went. And he's going over here to protect his artillery, I guess. The ice road. And... Let me talk about this gun a little bit. This gun looks like a 17 pounder gun, although that doesn't really make much sense. Probably either a 90 millimeter or a 20 pounder gun, which means that, well, the, what do you call it, the real time is really good, only 5 seconds. The damage, 284 at tier 9. Heavy tank. That's really not optimal for standard shells. And penetration of 220. Yeah, that's is not the best as well. But from what I'm seeing, I feel like the um hard case marks man is going to do quite a bit. And this looks like his first battle in his conquer. Mark, uh, Hardkey's Mark, Marksman. If you are watching this, correct me. Was this your first battle in your Conqueror? Because if it was, man, that is impressive. Because, well, if you did the, if you're gonna do what I know what you're gonna do in a stock Conqueror, your first battle, that is all the more impressive. So, 
What do we have here? Marksman is sitting behind bushes. He's camping some bushes. Uh, a little bit da some damage to K5. Right in the command, right into the radio operator scupola. That's like the biggest, some of the biggest memes in World of Tanks. The commander scupola. I feel really bad for the radio operators that get recruited. And then they realize that they have to go and fight on a KV-5. Those people are really unfortunate because of the fact that, well, that is the part of the tank that you usually gets shot. Although, guys, the either, um, either hard case marksman is, is using a, some sort of consumable, but has a the sixth sense, which is oh no, that is quite a bit of your hit points. Oh, that this is this definitely cannot be good. 500 damage just from falling. I feel really bad for you. And then extra 300 damage. So, um, already about about a little more than half your hit points. And, uh, well, at least the ice road was secured. And the excellent DPM, I think. I think it's excellent, although I'm not quite sure. For I don't play on tier 9 heavies, so... But if you do the math, so it's 220... No, 200, so let's make that 300, just about 300. Minus... Oh my god, guys, I just realized. Look at the score. 5 to 10, and the amount of health. 3,000, I mean, a little less than 3,000, compared to, well, over 5,000. But, um, hard case marksman makes short work of that VK, no, T-34-100. And now, there, this is a pretty hard decision. Yes, getting the high ground, this is the best choice that he has right now. Because going the ice road will just allow the enemy to cap out in worst case scenario. And his team has melted away, except for Black Prince, that will soon grow up to be just like Arcade's Marksman and a Waffentrager Panzer IV. Only has a little bit of set points. DVP! VTU destroyed. Oh no, no, that this cannot be good, guys. Having a low, guys. Black Prince was destroyed, but the T44 was destroyed. No. Wait, what? T44 was just destroyed there. Nice. I thought that was a T54. Oh, the T54 is still there. Okay, the Oni is still alive. Okay, penetrating the shot on the Oni. Nice. And the score has become a little bit better. Although, I'll not say anything for uh, for how good his situation is. The SRV has not been spotted and still shooting. I mean, has been spotted, but... Oh, there it is. The SRV has a lux excellent, excellent. Oh no, no, guys! Oh, oh, guys! Oh, this cannot be good. The T54 destroyed the Waffen Trigger. Answer four. Be interesting if it was an Alpha 100. Oh, shooting! Uh, hard case marksman. Good job! You just destroyed a rock. A rock or a boulder. That is some excellent sniping. Huh, I just said that. Oh, and the name. Lost Internet Connection. Uh, happens to the best of us. 
We hit them, but didn't penetrate the armor. Actually sounds pretty cool. Um, actually using a female crew member? I don't know, uh, it's not a thing that I usually hear of, but, uh, well, whatever suits you. And either you are doing a special challenge for not using... And the T-54 has decided to shoot... Well... Parkeek's marksman's... Oh... Oh... This changes the deal. Now Parkeek's marksman became... One shot wolf for the STRV, which... Can... Cannot be good, guys. And the STRV is full health. So unless the S-51 is... Does quite a bit. Although, not for 13 seconds. We need to wait for just a little more. Hey, okay. not poking out. Oh no, guys. I feel like we, that we have a very similar situation to what we just saw. Low HP carries. 32 health. I think... I mean... Comparatively, it, I'm pretty sure that is even less than... Well, last game. 1 health compared to 64. 640 health. So 32 compared to 100... Oh, both the artilleries are over there, guys. Although, Parquet's Marksman doesn't have quite enough... I mean, does have enough shells, but not as many as you would wish for. And Fool's Metal, already. Good results there. Okay, the S-51 fired. Uh, please do hit the shot. Okay, can he shut down the S-51? Yes, he can! Guys, and this turns the game around just a tiny bit. Holy crap! Uh, RK Smart Man, I definitely agree with you. Never seen such a game. Well, con congrats, guys. You're just seeing a miracle. Send a replay, please. <laughs> and the T20 immediately accept the, the invitation or I don't know so well so the STRV ran away as Harkey's Marks Marksman just knows and the question is where is it and the bad thing there are kind of two news here oh more friends but, now the problem is, sadly enough, our case marks, man, will not be able to spot out the STRV. Just because the STRV has amazing camo values, and unless something weird happens, probably not get spotted before our case marks, man, gets spotted. We'll have never ex uh, Enver? I guess that was meant never. Back to this from Stock Conquer Lamu. Yes! I don't either, really. But it is what it. Oh, don't go this way. Our case, Marchman. You already fell down this way. So, I'm so late, low HP though. I don't know if I can win. I hope you can win. RK Smarks, man. You are doing an amazing job. Over 6,000 damage. And a draw will definitely not suit you. I am 100% sure. Oh no, wait. Okay, guys. This is... Okay, K9. K9. So, this position. So, this makes the game a little more interesting. Or won't be a draw. Oh, uh. Oh no, not a ricochet, guys. Try and play from your turret or something. Okay, a little bit of damage. Okay, you only need six more shells. No, not quite. 
Oh, quite. Yes, yes. Okay. Track the STRV again. And guys, this looks like a perfect situation for such a gun. The STRV will not be able to repair its track quite fast enough. And guys, yeet, yeet. Yes, permanent track. And finish the job off. Yes, yes, yes. Oh my god, guys. Two carries in a row with low, really low HP. And still winning. I don't know what the STRV did in the last moments. Probably was raging quite a bit, but... Guys, uh, uh, same as the last game. Incredibly lucky, and well, really skillful as well. Tracked the STRV and retracked it, and then went around the side and took advantage of the fact that, well, the STRV can not really, does not have in the slightest thing that is like a turret. So, wow, amazing job, hard case marks man. I don't know. This was this just too much for my words to talk about. Amazing job, Hardcase Marksman. Now let's see the results. And well, I definitely earned a Sanker. A well deserved crucial contribution. But that was just, well, that was just Hardcase Marksman. Got himself an extra medal, high caliber. Uh, Pascucci's medal, the Warrior medal, and the Pools medal, which is kind of the best thing about this game, I'll say. <coughs> Sorry. And well, the S51 and T20 were lucky enough to get the crucial contribution as well. And so, guys, this was. I, I don't even know. Luck? Skill? Both of them, probably. That was extreme skill, extreme luck. No, I won't say more of those two, but guys, well, uh, 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 yeah, those are my exact reactions to this battle. It's just way too good for my words to describe completely. It's just so good. Who will think that in a stock conquer, compared to a regular conquer, to a top conquer, can do so much more? Uh, well, not me, that's for sure. But an amazing game, guys. So, thank you everyone very much for watching this video. I hope you stay tuned for my, more of my videos, which next to which will happen, which will come out on Monday, next Monday. Yeah. Bye.